Hey everyone, this is the Deadstock Stash and my name is Logan. Today we're gonna to be doing another unboxing and in this video, we are going to be looking at the Lucky Green Jordan 1 that released on October 14th for a retail price of $170. These were a, or are a women's shoe, so I got a 10 and a half, which is a men's nine. While I'm opening this box, I'd like to tell you about the giveaway I have going on. It will be linked in the description. It's a Gleam competition where all you have to do is subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and you'll be entered to win one of two Travis Scott t-shirts and a couple of stickers from the channel. So check that out if you're interested. I ship them to you for free if you win, if you live in the United States, if you live outside of the United States, then you'll have to pay for your own shipping. Nice bright red box. Get that out of the way. I like this box. So, like I said, it's a women's exclusive, so the size is a 10 and a half. It is a men's nine. The colorway on this is lucky green, black, white, and sail. And we'll just jump right into it. Cool, I like that it comes with two different laces. That's dope. And a nice hang tag there. Let's put this off to the side and we'll get a better look at these. Nice leather hang tag, kind of an interesting one. And then it has the green and red laces. I think the red laces might be fire on these, although it might be a little bit too much. The black is nice and subtle, but I'll throw the red ones on there probably. So I wanted these because they reminded me of the Heineken Nike SB Dunks, but there is a much better story as to the colorway. I've read that these were actually inspired by game two of the 1986 Eastern Conference quarterfinals where Jordan scored 63 points, which is still the most scored in a single postseason in NBA history. He also did that when he was only 23 years old, which is kind of crazy. The insole is also inspired by the court there, which is now known as the TD Garden. So knowing that, it actually makes me like these a lot more because I love sneakers with a history to them and with an actual story to them. I'll also be doing it on foot of these, so stick around for that. The leather quality on these is actually really good. The green leather is kind of thin. You can see that it's kind of flappy here, but it's it actually feels like real leather, whereas on some of the other releases, I feel like it doesn't feel like leather, but the, the tumbled white is just really nice and buttery. The quality on these is honestly really good. Like, I'm impressed. There's a little glue stain right there, just kind of shiny, a little bit right there. Nothing, nothing crazy. I do like the patent leather swoosh, just a little bit to brighten it up. And then on the back, there's this little red and white little tab, which is kind of interesting. The Jordan brand has definitely been giving women some really good exclusive colorways, including these, but also the Satin Snake and the Tie Dyes were both really great. And I wanted both of those and I took an L on both of those, but I am super stoked to have hit these because I'm gonna wear these. Like I like these a lot. Green is one of my favorite colors and this is just a dope pair. Let me know what you guys think. Were you able to cop? Do you like this colorway? Do you care that it was a women's exclusive? Will you still wear them? I know some guys are kind of weird about that. I personally don't care. There is no major difference to these than any men's pair. Unless you know this is a women's colorway, then you would never know that this is a women's shoe. Uh, but I know that it does make a difference to some folks. 
If you like this video, please do consider subscribing. I really do appreciate it. If you're on Instagram, follow me at the Dead Stock Stash, and don't forget to enter that contest. Good luck on your next cop. Take care.